famous TikTok couple Ray Shonda and LaShonda getting a divorce after LaShondra was accused of stealing money from friends and family. Let's check out the clips. I said no. She did not tell me that. The bishop in L.A. told the bishop in Baltimore that LaShondra took money from her church and to not have her give access to her money. <clears throat> Listen to me. The information that I have found out, honey, would you stay married to somebody you don't know? Would you? So I go to Fresh Fire, where we used to go to church. I go to Fresh Fire because we had our Mental Health Awareness Day. I'm supporting my friend. I go to the church. I talk to pastor after church to let him know what's going on. And he says to me, Ray, there has been three occasions where I had to talk to LaShondra about missing money. See, she didn't bet on me going back to Fresh Fire because she left Fresh Fire. Me back, back to jail. When has Shonda been to jail? For fraud? When was somebody going to tell me? I believe with my whole heart that she sought me out, that she Googled me, that she found out who I was and what I was doing. And she inserted herself into my life. This was a whole scam, the whole marriage, everything was a scam. I don't believe, I don't believe nothing she's ever said to me. I don't believe none of it. I want my fucking money <laughs> and I can't get my time back. We have never had shared bank accounts. I never gave her access to my stuff because I got people that trust me with their stuff and she can't have access to this stuff. For six years, she was saying shit like, oh, we need to get a joint account together. We need to get a joint. No, you tell me what you need and I give you money. But because I have already been homeless from trusting somebody with my funds, you're not getting, you're not, I, yeah. Six years. And here's the thing. You didn't even play it right. You didn't even play it right. Because I ain't even done. I'm not even going where I'm supposed to go yet. Do you understand what I'm saying? And my friend said to me, it's like, Rashonda, well, this time, at least you're not broke. This time you're homeless. At least you're not broke. Your kids are grown. You don't have to have a place right now. And I said, you're right. You're right. But see... Had I, what were we supposed to be doing a TV show back in March? Started in March. And you see the writer strike happened. And everything got put on pause. Because just imagine. Imagine this being on TV. <laughs> imagine. I didn't move out, honey. We were evicted. Yeah. We were evicted. So, yes, evicted, evicted. Six figure business owner, evicted. Okay, evicted. But 
you have built a platform off my back and nobody knew you. You got half a million people following you and you going live every Tuesday and Thursday and people are cash apping you their money. You are a thief and a liar and a criminal and you need to be in jail. <laughs> you need to be in jail. So... It. I'm going to sleep good tonight that I said it. I know it's going to be all over the internet. She needs to go to jail. She needs to go to jail. Della Chandra done ruined her life too. Had her file bankruptcy. Girl, I thought she was lying. So that's why I didn't tell you. Because I said, why you didn't tell me in 2017? She said, because I thought people was just hating and I never said anything. You know how you first start dating somebody. But I wish I had that information. <clears throat> but she didn't know. Who knew? Everybody. She needs her ass beat and she needs to be in jail. I'm not sure why y'all don't understand it. First time I left LaShondra was December of 2021. I went and stayed in a hotel for a few days because she lied about the dining room table. She told me that her mama gifted us the dining room table in January of 2021. December 2021, I get a knock at my door from Renna Center. To repo a fucking table. <sighs> now I'm all over the internet. I'm all over the internet. I could buy 14 fucking tables. But you rented a table and lied about a damn table. Why? Who does that? Insanity. Okay? Insanity. I said, when I came back, LaShondra, if you lie to me again, I'm leaving. Okay? That was 2021. Now, here we are back in 2023. I'm sitting at the airport. The the uh, the rental property, property that she applied for because we got to move denied us why because you fucked up credit and now you done brought my credit down because you just told me that you defaulted on the loan that i co-signed on so of course it's not gonna get approved okay <laughs> listen i don't know where it is so here we go so then i call my best friend Right? I said, best friend, this is what is going on. Okay? She says to me, well, friend, let me tell you, do you know that LaShondra borrowed $1,000 from me and my wife? Mm. Mm. What? I said, when? When did she borrow $1,000 from my, my best friend? She said, about a month before y'all got married, she said that y'all needed money for finish paying for your dress and some other stuff. I said, my daddy bought my dress. Huh? They said they thought I knew. They didn't know that I didn't know that she borrowed money from my friends. You did. You just thought it was a gift. Yes. Yeah, she told me that they gifted us $1,000. She did not say that she borrowed $1,000 from my friend. It took her a year and a half to pay them back. And they see us out here living our lives and feeling some type of way because my wife owes them money and I don't know it. Okay? So now, now I'm livid. Now I'm livid. I say, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down. Okay? 
The next day I get up, I go to the boutique. I'm talking to my friend Ashley at the boutique. I'm telling her, bitch, I'm about to be homeless again. Mm -hmm. And all the other shit that I found out. And you know what she says to me? She says, well, friend. I said, well, friend, what? LaShondra owes me money from June. I say, what? She said she owes me money from June. I said, for what? She says, when her pastor, when her bishop came down, they stayed at the Airbnb upstairs above the boutique. And I haven't been paid. Okay? <laughs> so then, I get on the phone and I call LaShondra's bishop and I say, hey, my friend Ashley says her and her husband hasn't been paid from the Airbnb stay when y'all came down. She hung, she said, let me send you the screenshot. She hung the phone up. <laughs> she hung the phone up and sent me the screenshot. They sent LaShondra that money June 26th. Okay. June 26th. So if you sent the money June 26th, then why hasn't my friend Ashley been paid for the Airbnb stay? Mm. Where's the fucking money? Okay. <laughs> Every time I talk, my brother has been cash apping LaShondra his rent for the past 12 months because he lives on that property. I said, what, Morris? He said, yeah, for the past year. So y'all tell me, do y'all think that LaShondra is going to go to the ATM machine or anywhere and withdraw that money, get a money order and run it through the system. Cause she can't run it through as herself because she works there. But it's the fact that you are accepting federal money through your personal cash app. LaShondra <laughs> hates LaShondra hates Jayla. She talked, I found out she talked so bad about my child that it brought tears to my eyes. Telling her that she needs to grow up. She don't need to be asking me for money. My child, my child. Meanwhile, your mom co-signed for your car and you're 46, 47. So how can you, yes, talk dirt bad about Jayla? Call her nasty, call her all kind of stuff. My baby. So what I, listen to me. When I noticed that I'm getting booked, right? Oh, you want to be there, but you don't want to work. You want to stare at me in a corner and sulk because it's not you. You want to be in secret competition with the person that you lay next to for no reason. But here's the thing. It had to be found out now, honey, because God ain't even took it ain't even taken. I'm not even where I'm going. Right. I'm not even where I'm going yet. So I am staying at my best friend's house because I'm homeless with money in the bank. I'm just saying, it ain't my house. You ain't. It ain't my house. This last thing, this last, this house, this last thing, this last, this, this right here. So I reach out to Hannah, which is my friend that did my poem at my wedding. I'm telling her what's going on. And she says, 
Well, friend, I said, well, what the fuck now? Because everybody got to tell me something. Because she's going through my friends. She's going through, she's running through my friends. So let me tell you this. She said, I know you've been booked and busy and you've been out of town. And remember when you did an advertisement for me, I wanted to pay you for that. So I reached out to LaShondra and told her to send me an invoice so that we could pay you. August 28th, they reached out to her and to pay me. And she sent me the screenshots. And, and the screenshot said, I'm going to send you the invoice from Deliverance by Grace because I can't send it from hello at rllockhart.com without notifying Rashonda. It says that. Why wouldn't you want me notified about my own motherfucking funds? Why wouldn't you want me notified that somebody's trying to pay me? You laid right next to me and didn't say, hey, babe, somebody reached out trying to pay you for some. Immediately after Ray Shonda went live, Twitter was in shambles. They are top 20 trending on Twitter. You have celebrities talking about this. You have fans talking about it. Everybody wants to know what was said and what happened. And then it's a bit funny and Basil, bitch. And Basil? Embezzle. She's talking about embezzle money. Embezzle, bitch. Embezzle. Embezzle. Before Rashonda went live, she had took to TikTok with a few video clips. Let's check them out. Hey, y'all. So this video is going to be a little different. I have debated on how to say this, when to say it, do I need to say it? Um, but I just have to with the holidays coming up and you all are already inboxing and commenting, um, things are going to look a little different uh, around here. Uh, me and LaShondra are no longer together. I filed for a divorce last week. Um, I'm not going to explain now. I will talk about it when I feel like talking about it. I will leave the comments on as long as they are respectful. Um, our children are going through a lot right now. So I just wanted to get on here to um, let you all know what is going on. The past 30 days has been absolutely wild. Uh, life definitely has been lifing. Um, but I wanted you all to know that I love y'all and thank y'all for the support. Um, this already was not a couple's page, but I know that you are used to seeing her and us. Um, for the past two years, um, and we've been together six. So I do not say this lightly. I have thought about it, what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it, and I'm just, I just got to say it. So I love you all. Have a great weekend. Bye. Good morning. Let's talk about the fat phobia that has leaked out of y'all, okay? See, the problem is a lot of you all don't know that I was that bitch at 340. I've been that girl. I've told you all that. I've been on TV, running business, being paid before marriage. Okay? So I'm not sure what y'all think changed from 340 to 220. So the same shit that this bad bitch wouldn't put up with, she's not putting up with it either. I've been in business over 10 years. I stay booked, busy, flying out and hosting before marriage, before TikTok. You need to Google me. So before you get on here with your little ashy fingers, typing hideous stuff, weight loss has nothing to do with what is going on right now. I was that girl then. I'm still that girl now. And the same shit that girl didn't put up with, this chick ain't either. Now, you all can stick and stay in your sorry-ass relationships. Honey, no. So if you want to see somebody sad throwing up, sliding down a wall, I don't have time for that. I have work to do, okay? It's not on this page. Go find another page. Basically, she was just saying she not taking this shit from her and she's going to move on and do what she has to do. Um, 
Follow my YouTube for the full story. Come on, just spill that, come on, just spill that, spill that tea for me.